You're just in time for another episode of On Top and Hot. I'm John Zadar, and this is Tuesday, October 17th. So what I'm going to do here is share my due diligence with you. I went out hunting across all the markets, looking at stocks under five bucks, trying to find those that had potential to make us money. Now, where did I do my research? Filings? Press releases? Heck no. In my opinion, a hot chart is a lot more valuable than hot news. So I go to the charts first. I pull up a penny scan and I just start going through the tickers down the line, looking at every single chart until I find a chart that has heat. I'm looking for a lot of volume coming in or maybe a breakout setup or a lot of big bounces. Something that makes that chart look hot and juicy. I like juicy. When I get a hot and juicy chart, then I go rummaging around through the press releases and the filings looking for that catalyst. And when I find one, I've got myself a hot penny stock. Well, I've got one to share with you today, and it's not a stranger. We've talked about this twice before, believe it or not. This is ticker N-I-L-I-F, Surge Battery Metals. We talked about this September 13th of this year, <laughs> and we talked about it February 2022. Yeah, we looked at it way back then, and if you remember, I am impressed. So this is a lithium mining company in Nevada. Why are we looking at another lithium mining company? We just looked at grid battery metals yesterday. Well, there's a few reasons. First off, lithium is as valuable as gold. We just haven't got to it yet. We know there's a market for it. We know our country needs it. We know we have it. We just haven't gotten permission to start mining it. Lots of lithium mining companies in America out there. None of them are doing business except for one. Silver Peak, under the ownership of ALB. And I think their stock's like at $184 right now. That's what you get when you're in operations. Nobody else is operating yet. Another reason, grid battery metals mention this company often because their mines, their parcels are right up against Surge Battery Metals. And Surge Battery Metals has done a lot of exploration. They've got results in and they've got hot results. Looks to be that Surge Battery Metals could possibly own the richest lithium mining in all of America. The results I've seen, nobody else has had higher numbers. So it is pretty impressive. Now her chart's not real exciting. It's like, well, grid battery metals and most other lithium mining companies. They were running for about four weeks. Who knows why? And then they fell for about three weeks. Who knows why? And they all came down to strong supports and they've been sitting there getting ready to move. And this one did the same thing and it is starting to move right now. So if you're looking for a buy-in for a hot lithium mine, this is one of them. She also has some news we're going to cover I didn't know about this until I started looking at her deeper and I was impressed and I think you're going to be impressed as well. Surge Battery Metals, ticker N-I-L-I-F. She finished the day just over 63 cents and just over 8% gains. She is now on the best tier, the QX, the top tier of the OTC, where you not only get audited financials, but you literally get all the information about the company. It is the most transparent and the most trustworthy tier. We've also got a verified profile and a transfer agent. That's great. More validated information. And we got a bonus here. They are penny stock exempt. This should remove the fear of them being a startup company. What this actually means is they've been in business for three to five years, have had millions of dollars of revenues or assets during that entire period, and they've kept up with their financials. Or, in a nutshell, they've proven to us they're responsible. This is a good company. Let's get some information about the company here. God, what a big paragraph. <laughs> the company is a Canadian-based mineral exploration company active in the exploration for nickel iron alloy and lithium in Nevada. The company maintains a focus on exploration for high-value battery metals required for the electric vehicle market. The company owns 100% in the Nevada North Lithium Project. Hold the heck with this. Now, rather than read all the rest of that paragraph, we're going to jump on over here to the company's website, which, well, it's prettier. <laughs> and they've got the information. So we are at surgebatterymetals.com. Now, this Nevada North Lithium Project, which is way north in Nevada, it is in prime real estate if you're mining lithium. 
Their test results for lithium concentrate are just going off the charts. They keep coming back bigger and bigger. Now, I don't know if they're the richest in America, but I haven't seen anything bigger. Now, I'm not a miner. I don't know a lot about this, but I have been doing some reading simply because their test results have been so impressive. The only numbers I find comparable are coming out of South America, Chile, and Argentina, which is where most of the world gets their lithium from right now. Well, they tell us here that the Nevada North Lithium Project contains a significant high-grade lithium clay deposit extending over a wide area and open to expansion. And that's what they've been doing a lot of here recently, expanding. A phase two drill program is underway to better define the size and scope of this shallow, near-surface mineralized system. And then they've been comparing themselves. Their mine is a lot like the mine right next door, which is called Lithium America, which is Thacker Pass. And this is what, a $4 billion operation over there. Now, we've got ourselves a map down here that gives us a little more information. First off, this is where they're located, right up here in the very top corner of Nevada, and they're not alone up there. There are a lot of lithium mining companies on the market up here, and a whole bunch down here by Clayton Valley as well. Now, all of this green area, this is all of their property. This right here in the middle, that is private property. That does not belong to them. Can you believe that? Smack dab in the middle of their, if you'll excuse the expression, gold mine, lithium mine. They've got private property, but we're going to take a look at some recent news with regard to this. Now they tell us that they have two drills going on. They just finished the 2022 and they're starting the 2023. 2022, they had results come back of 3,200 parts per million. Now let me put this in perspective. To even be considered a lithium source, you have to have at least 100 parts per million. 100 parts of lithium to a million of anything else. Well, they were coming back with 3,000, well over 100. Then they had a second test result. This one came back at 5,000, then another one at 5,000, then another one at 5,000. Then they hit one for over 8,000. Huge concentrates, folks. Most of these companies have concentrates of 200 to 1,000. They put them in these huge evaporation pools out in the middle of the desert and let the sun do all the work and evaporate that water and concentrate it down. And they're trying to push it up to three, 4,000. They are finding it just as it is at 5,000 up to 8,000. So they've got some very rich lithium in the area that they are in. What else can I tell you about this company? Well, they have got this updated over here. We're going to be looking at some news. As I said, they have been expanding. They have a total now, and this looks updated to me, 725 mineral claims. Tom Sawyer had a claim, and Martha Jones had a claim. Well, they go out and buy all these claims from these people, and there's companies out there that have lots of claims, and they deal with them as well. How big is this? It is huge, folks. It is 5,800 hectares. You don't know what a hectare is. Maybe you do if you watched my video yesterday. A hectare is two and a half acres. An acre is about one football field. So a hectare is two and a half football fields. So you're looking at, uh, oh my God, you're looking at, uh, ooh, I can't figure that out, 6, 12, 18, 17,000 football fields is how big their mining area is. So let's go get some information about the stock now. First bit of information we're going to take a look at for Surge is her relative volume. She had a hard day today, dropping a lot. Even though she took 8% gain, she dropped from 331,000 shares to 88,000 shares. Ouch. Share structure for Surge Battery. Outstanding share count. They tell us is 156 million. With the management owning about 6 million of those, that leaves us about 150 million in the float. Financials for the company is zilch. They're not making any money. What lithium mining company is outside of ALB? None of them, and there's a lot of them. What does her balance sheet look like? In the bank, they have $6.5 million. We gotta add three zeros to any of these numbers. Total assets, they've got almost $11 million. And look at the liabilities. 
$176,000 and they've got almost 11 million in assets, that comes from owning 100% of your property. Take a look at those uh, disclosures for the company. Eh, we got nothing over here. So let's go take a look at that news. Now the company does have a lot of news here, but it basically breaks down into three categories. Expansion, promotion, and let's call the third one concentration. Expansion, they have been getting more land. We got three pieces of news here. One came out June 21st. The company has recently increased the size of their Nevada North Lithium project by staking and filing an additional 60 load claims located to the east of its claim block. The claim holdings now total 303 mineral claims, encompassing approximately 6,000 acres and almost 2,500 hectares. Now, Mr. Reimer, the chief executive officer, stated, over the last several months, Surge has completed a strategic expansion of our claim holdings to secure additional land with the potential for expansion of our lithium clay deposit. And he wasn't just blowing smoke up our skirt when he said that because it was just about a month later we got another news press where they double their land holdings. The company made a deal with M3 Metals Corps. They got 100% interest in this without having to pay any royalties out. They now have 12,800 acres or about 5,100 hectares instead of 2,500 hectares. So they have just doubled all their land holdings. And that last piece of news, this one came out October 3rd. This has to do with those private parcels I was showing you right in the middle of what they own. They tell us here that Surge entered into agreements to become strategic stakeholder in the private lands within their boulders. They have made a deal two mineral property purchase agreements to purchase a total of 25% of the mineral rights to the private lands comprised of four parcels totaling 880 acres. Now these are the four parcels right there folks, smack dab in the middle of everything they own. They did not own that. These four parcels, the land is not theirs, the mineral rights are, and not all of them, just 25%. But you can see how quickly they have grown in just a few months, more than doubling their land holdings. That's the expansion. What about the promotion? Well, the company was on the pink tier not too long ago, and it was August 21st that they moved themselves up to the QB, the better tier, where you have to audit your financials. And that was great in itself. But about a month and a half later, September 28th, the company started trading on the QX, the best tier of the OTC. I know companies that talk about uplisting and years go by and it never gets done. We just had two uplistings in less than two months. So that's pretty exciting. And the last but definitely not least is the concentration. We're talking about their test results, how concentrated they are. We've got four news presses here, basically one a month. We had one back in July when they announced the drilling was set to commence. Then we have one at the end of August where they report highly favorable clay horizons in all phase two holes drilled. Then one in September, Surge announces the highest grade lithium assays to date with up to 8,070 parts per million. As far as I know, folks, that is the richest result ever recorded in Nevada's history and maybe the United States. And the last piece of news with regard to their test results, Surge continues to intercept significant lithium results with second 2023 hole up to 5,820 parts per million. And this is what they're hitting regularly. They hit that extreme low <laughs> of 3,000. They hit that extreme high of 8,000, but they are regularly hitting 5,000, which is super rich. They have now doubled the size of their mine property, and they got that center too. So they've got it all, and nobody is ahead of the game here. They are there with a whole lot of other lithium mining companies, a bunch of them, and everybody is ready to go when the government gives us permission. We just haven't got it yet. Once we get it, this would be a good company to be in. Let's go take a look at this chart. So let's chart Surge Battery Metals on my free trading platform. This is Think or Swim. 
I got this years ago when I signed up with TD Ameritrade. And you know what? It's still free to sign up. So we are looking at Surge Battery Metals, ticker N-I-L-I-F. This is a three-year, one-week chart. Now, I told you I had looked at this before. I put a line up when I did. That's been there a very long time. This is February 2022. When we looked at it, the price was roughly 12, 13 cents. After we looked at it, she fell down to a low here of just under three cents. And off of that low bubble, you can see she has been climbing all this time until the end of September when she came down to this strong support. Looking at a one year, one day chart to get our 52 week highs and lows. A full year ago, we had a 52 week low of just over a nickel. And we have our 52 week high just at the end of September of $1.15. Coming down to that six month, four hour view. Now our low is about 15 cents roughly. And she was scraping along this 200 day SMA until May. Then she jumped up here came down to the 50, hit it again, fell to the 50, and then she launched here roughly at the end of August, and she ran for four weeks. Not just her, most of the lithium mining companies in America ran. I don't know why they all decided to run at the same time, and I don't know why they all decided to fall at the same time. We had three weeks of falling here, and most of them have come right back down to a strong support, just like this one has. Now, we looked at it right here, that is September 13th. We saw it, it was roughly 82 cents. She went up here to a buck 15. That's just under 50% gains before she fell down. And you can see she is right over that 200. Looks like she tapped it and she's bounced off of it. Volume is nothing incredible to talk about. Osculators are pretty cool, but we see signs of recovery. Everything is starting to push up again. Taking a look at our 20 day, one hour view. So we've got a high about 16 days ago. That was the $1.15. She came down underneath the 200, came back up. She was struggling to stay there, but with all of these strong SMAs pushing down, she could not fight it. And she's come down here to a low of 55 cents. She's bounced off of that, put herself on top of the 200 haul, and she is right up underneath that 20. It would be a good move to get on top of that 20. She'd probably get a lot of strength. Our oscillator say she is trying. Our PPO, our percentage price oscillator, is trying to climb right now. You read this the same as the MACD. You want that blue line on the top and you want it pushing up. MACD is in recovery right now. We got green bars accumulating and our RSI is climbing. She has come from 40 up to 50. Looking at our five day, five minute. All right, you can see she's on a downtrend here underneath the 200. She was very close, tapped her head, tapped her head, and now it's almost level. This is where it would break out. Now, I'm not really looking at NILIF for a breakout tomorrow or the next day. It could, God only knows, but I do believe that this would be a good time to get it before it gets expensive. Even if you don't get everything you want, get something before it starts to climb. So she is right up underneath the 200 now, and it is virtually flat. We are at 63 cents, and the 200's at 64. Osculators, our PPO is pushing up. MACD has got a crossover. RSI is climbing. And we just had our 20-day cross everything pushing up underneath. This is looking like it wants to start climbing now. But honestly, I'm looking at this down the road, folks. When the government gives permission to these lithium mine companies to start mining, they already know what they're going to do. They already know what they have, and they already have a market waiting for it. Lots of these companies are getting big money from like uh, General Motors or the Department of Transportation. They're getting hundreds of millions of dollars to help them. So once they get the green light, you know they're going to be making money. I'd put NILIF on your watch list. I told you this before, I'm telling it to you again. Lithium is going to be gold. So what's up? I cover two lithium mining companies back to back. Well, come on, folks. Lithium is going to be very prevalent in this nation. We need it for everything we're doing it, and we can't get it. We know we got it. We're just not taking it yet. So as soon as the government gives permission, companies like this are going to be raking in the money. 
they are already getting huge investments before they're even in operation from car manufacturers, from the government. These companies are not going to fail. We're just waiting for them to get going. The prices right now are good prices. That's why we're looking at them. Maybe they'll run tomorrow. Maybe they're going to run next month, but you want to get in before they start to run and a dip is a good time to consider them. There's a lot more information that you can go over folks. So please do your own due diligence. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you folks. Bow, 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 bow,